I was born and raised in Tacoma Park, Maryland, which is right next to DC, right. but, but in, in Maryland and, and then East Silver Spring. And when I got involved in Maryland politics, when I was in my late twenties, I guess, I started subscribing to the Baltimore Sun because the, the, the Sun was always a, a great, a great paper uh, until about 20 years ago, it started heading in the wrong, wrong direction, given the, uh, you know, the, the secular uh, trends and forces in that particular industry, local okay. news. But, but basically, in a nutshell, for the last, I don't know, eight or nine years, my, my brother's family and my family have been investing philanthropic capital in sub-Saharan Africa and he in India. But there we look for kind of series A investments where the risk uh, reward was, was the, the, the upside was huge, would be huge if the enterprise was successful, but the down, but, but they were underfunded. And so what we've done is we've gotten in and funded them, not seed money, just after seed money. And, and when other, when, when the concepts proven, we get the hell out when, because others come in with the funding and then we go to a new one. So in May of 20, sitting there in Talbot County on miles river neck, I got to thinking, well, wait a minute, what can we do in the U S that, because this, this democracy is, 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 is pivotal as to which direction we're going to go here. Is this going to, and what can we do? where the upside is huge, but that's being underfunded where there, because for understandable reasons, because the risk is high uh, of failure. And I got to thinking about the local news and how can a community, how can a people uh, govern themselves if they don't know what the hell's going on in their community? And there's no industry uh, that, is more integral to the function of a healthy democracy than the local news business. Now, so I brought in a consultant in June of 20 uh, to help me understand the space and the assignment to him, who, and he's now the CEO of, of the um, uh, Baltimore Banner, uh, and I guess you'd call him publisher of it, uh, I asked him to go and find a sustainable business model for local news that had scale. So we surveyed all the likely suspects and ProPublica as national investigative. So we ruled that out, even though it's been very successful. It's not local news, about $38 million a year budget, $39 million. Uh, Pro uh, uh, Texas Tribune is about a $9 million, uh, but it's statewide. It's not really local. It's state government, Austin. We said, well, maybe there's an opportunity to buy a legacy paper and convert it to digital first in the first three, three years, maybe four years, while the print advertising revenue and the subscription, the print subscription revenue was still around, even though they were decreasing about 15% a year and thinking, well, we could bend the curve, that, that, that downward trend a little bit, but not too much. And so that's how we got onto the sun. And then uh, the Alden people wanted to retrade the deal at every turn, uh, which is fine, but we just couldn't go along with all the, all the demands they had. So yeah. then we made an offer for the whole company and, and, the, and the key, 30% uh, of the value of Tribune Publishing Company, the public company was the Chicago Tribune. And uh, I couldn't find a buyer for it. I had this Swiss guy for two and a half weeks uh, said he wanted it, but then in the end he backed out. So that was that. So, so I said, well, wait a minute, this is a growing problem here in this country. And there's a lot of good people trying to address it, but, but I, I don't see anything at scale. And maybe there's a way to do this. I got encouragement from the Bloomberg, Michael Bloomberg and his people because Bloomberg has about $4 billion invested in, in Baltimore through Hopkins. And, and they don't want that investment to be in jeopardy. And uh, so they've, they've encouraged us and they've been very helpful. So, so we, we think, you know, we, we're, we're, we're going for this. We're going to try to make it successful. We're feeling our way. There's no, we feel there's no map at scale. And uh, what we envision is that about 50, 55% of our uh, revenues will be from uh, subscriptions, about 25% from 
advertisers, about 15% from local uh, and maybe national philanthropy, and, and about 5% on, on local events and miscellaneous. So, you know, and we, and we haven't sold one subscription. So <laughs> the Sun in its heyday had, had just 70 reporters in its heyday in the 90s, had 70 reporters on the Metro desk for Metropolitan Baltimore. And so I think, and now the productivity of a reporter has, if, if they're technically, you know, digitally savvy, has been enhanced since then. But, but we, think, we think that there's, there may be a way to do this. And, and Dick Tofel, the ProPublica, has said he thinks there is uh, to do it with like 70, 75 journalists. Um, including photographers and so forth, uh, for the metro to spend money to AP or that's it's, it's expensive as hell. And we're just going to focus on local news. People yeah. can get their national news just like you guys are. Yeah. And then the other thing we're going to do is we're we're going to emulate what you're doing. Basically, is have kind of a writers and residents, um, a core of really great writers in the Baltimore area. Uh, greater Baltimore area that contribute uh, and to 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 increase our coverage at you know a reasonable cost. Yeah, I mean we're we're long term investors on the commercial side and we have been. I mean we think in terms of the next generation. Uh, we've had we we have a company now. This is the Bainham family that we've controlled for about fifty five years. We had another one we sold a while back was a forty year investment. We have another one that's over 50 years and and we started one eight nine years ago that we think is the next generation investment so so you know that's 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 making progress so you know if this is a a a is not financially sustainable it's like bloomberg told me he said you know after four or five years if this is not financially sustainable then in, including 15 percent a year of our budget from local philanthropy uh, don't, uh, don't, don't, don't throw your money away, your philanthropic capital, invest it where you can get a higher return, uh, for, for the, uh, you know, for others that you're trying to serve. So we're going to give this a number of years and, and give it our full, full and best shot launch at launch, which is, you know, by the end of the second quarter of this year, um, uh, is, is our anticipated launch. Uh, we're going to focus on Baltimore City, Baltimore County, and to a lesser extent, at launch, uh, Howard County, Anne Arundel County. But but ultimately, the the goal is the uh, to the greater Baltimore area, including Carroll County and Harford County, you know, and, and whatever. The, about 2.7 million, as I said, 2.5, 2.7 million people. In that draw, in that draw area. Well, we're certainly going to cover the state, uh, uh, the the general assembly, and the the governor, and the controller, and the state officials, and and we're we're we've done a kind of a uh, somewhat of a survey of the media landscape of Maryland, and we're talking to different folks about uh, partnerships.